please hit that subscribe button. Hey everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup this season. If you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores! And we're live. And we're live. What's going on, everybody? We had to quickly change plans on the fly here as the Boston College game that I was originally going to do was canceled for today. Um, but not sure why, but U, uh, UNH and BC has been canceled. And uh, so now we're going to do, it's already uh, first intermission, but UConn and UMass are tied 1-1 here. And uh, we're going to do the rest of this game for our stream tonight because obviously we're not going to be doing Boston College. So uh, welcome to the stream, everyone. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Um, really appreciate everyone in the chat already. Um, just very quickly had to change things here and switch everything around. But um, I appreciate all of you guys watching. Logan, Alex, HUD, Windy City's here. What's going on, man? Thank you so much for watching. Alex, THG, HTH in the house. John, what is going on, bro? Welcome to the stream. Alex is here. Yes, uh, THG, I saw it. What's up, everybody? Um, welcome to the stream. Red Rubber, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. We are at the first intermission here of UConn and UMass. And, um, yeah, it's uh, it's we just had to quickly make a change here because I, I don't know why that game got canceled, but BC and UNH are not playing tonight. And I assume that means tomorrow's game isn't going to happen e either. Um, Sutton, what is going on? Welcome. Uh, Alex, I did a whole video on the jersey things. I did a whole video on the jerseys. Um, but uh, we're here at intermission. Uh, yep, Josh George's uh, Alex was, remember him today, yes. Um, I, yes, I, I am definitely more of a UMass fan than UConn, yes. Considering I considering I almost went to UMass Amherst, uh, yes, they were in they were in my final three choices of colleges when I was picking what school to go to. Um, I they they made my final three, so um, I'm definitely a pretty big fan of UMass. I'm a big fan of Boston College. I'm a big fan of Providence College. All the all the local teams around here, I I um, I follow pretty closely. Uh, thank you, HUD, but I am not doing football. I will only be doing hockey, but I, I'm, I appreciate that, and uh, thank, thank you for saying that, but I am not doing football. This is hockey only. Uh, Slapshot Jack, what is going on? Vernon, welcome. Thank you guys for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Great to have you in the chat, as always. Remember, to, uh, remember guys, hit that like button. That helps out so much. Lucas, welcome to the stream. Those likes go such a long way. And, uh, and helping get more people in the stream. Hey, what's going on, Mike and Julie? Thanks for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Glad to have you in the chat, as always. Diz, what's going on? Welcome. So we're here at the first intermission between UConn and UMass. We'll have the second period starting, hopefully, uh, somewhat kind of soon here. And I, The period kind of just ended. Um, but, uh, yeah. We're, we're getting ready here. This is going to be fun. Yo, Daniel, what's going on? Welcome to the stream, man. Appreciate you stopping in. Uh, it's going pretty well, Daniel. Not a bad day today. Hopefully yours is good as well. Um, but I got kind of uh, kind of thrown thrown a loop here tonight. I was expecting to be streaming at seven for BC and UNH, and then that's not happening. So uh, got canceled, Daniel. The game got canceled. So um, now we're doing UMass and UConn. Uh, Domino's Sutton, definitely Domino's. 
All right, this is useless. Uh, YouTube. Why does YouTube say concurrent viewer zero? Like, if it's not even gonna be, if it's not even gonna be accurate, then why even have it? Like, oh my God, YouTube is such garbage. I mean, this game didn't get canceled, so I don't think everything's getting canceled. And, and BC and UNH are supposed to play again tomorrow, so I, I don't know what happened tonight. They didn't even say anything about it. Uh, I haven't heard anything about it, um, but this game's still going on. Snickers or Twix? Definitely Twix, son. Twix is one of my all-time favorite candies. Hey, uh, Rob, welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. I haven't seen anything on why the BC game got postponed. I have no idea why. Um, yeah, y YouTube's, YouTube's very trash a lot of the time, Red Rubber. Um, whoa, Daniel, your friend plays for Army? That's cool. That's fantastic. Uh, nice D1 college hockey player. Though. That's great. Logan, welcome. Mini Stick Central, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, this game this game started at 6 o'clock. Um, yeah, Twi Twix is one of my all-time favorite candies, so I'm Team Twix, Sutton, for sure. No, now it says that seven people are watching, but it also says 13. Like, one, one number says 13 concurrent viewers, and then one number says 7 concurrent viewers. I'm, I'm so confused. YouTube's just such trash sometimes. Um... No, there, there's it just this number is just wrong, guys. I'm tell I can tell you what's wrong. This number under stream settings is just wrong because the one at the top of the screen says 13, and that one is much more accurate. So, uh, the the other one is just wrong. It's just YouTube being wrong again, which is which is uh, typical. Uh, Skittles, Skittles are my all time favorite candy. Sutton, Skittles are my number one. Absolutely love them. Uh, yes, Big, Mini Stick Central is Big Bruin. Um, welcome. Welcome back, Big Bruin. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. It looks like the ice is already done, so second period action should be starting soon. I don't know anymore. What's going on, bro? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it, as always. Can't wait to actually get puck dropped here for the second period. Refs are back out on the ice, so we're probably one commercial break away from being back for the start of the second. I don't even know. I don't even know the rosters. I got to get the rosters up and take a look through here if there's any names I recognize. Um... Let's see. Mark Del Geizo, he's a junior, number two. He's been on the team for a while. Ty Farmer's number three. He's been on the team for a while. Um, let's see. Uh, Bobby Trevino, number eight. He's been there for a while now. He's a junior. Um, yeah, th this UMass team is good. They've um, Jake Gaudette's still there. He's a senior, number 18. Uh, yeah, Oliver Chow is still there. He's a senior number 20. So this UMass team's been really, really good for the past few years, and they've got a decent number of those guys that are still on this team. Colin Felix, number 26. Um, Anthony Del Geizo is 27. So the Del Geizo brothers are there. Um, yeah, all right. So this UMass team has a lot of the players that have been there for the last few years. Let me check UConn. I don't think I know anyone on UConn. Yukon hockey. Oh god, this period's almost going to start. I just want to see the roster. 
Brock, do you, do you not have a roster? Like, oh, there we go. All right. Ryan Keene, this goalie. Let's see. Yeah, no, I don't know many of the guys on UConn. But I do know a decent number of the, the UMass guys. UMass is number seven in the country right now. We are underway in the second, so I'll just pretend I know. Uh, yeah, it used to be Kale McCarr's team, Salty Wings fan, but not anymore. Um, he's obviously now with the now with the Avalanche. And yes, UConn's had UConn's been in Hockey East for a while now. Hey Nordic, what's going on, bro? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Salty, welcome. Uh, yeah, we'll see, Rob. I don't think it's gonna happen. Um. But here we go. We are underway in the second period. Tie game at one. Number seven in the country, UMass Amherst. Yes, I play Among Us, Sutton. Uh, I said that in the chat. Um, on Discord. Yeah, we'll see. UMass should win this game, but it's their first game of the season, so you never really know, I guess. For, first games are always interesting. First games are always interesting. I'm literally just getting rid of that. Um, Nick Capone, fr freshman number 21. Uh, I've drafted from the Lightning. I'm sure, I mean, there's probably a decent number of drafted players on both these teams, but I don't think there's any first round picks. When we did Notre Dame, or when we did Wisconsin last week, I mean, they got Dylan Holloway and Cole Caulfield, like high draft picks. And there were a bunch of other picks in that game as well. Um, but they were like fourth, fifth round guys. So um, I'm not sure about these two teams. But I know a lot of these UMass guys have been on the team for a while. Um, like like Farmer and the Del Gaizo brothers and... Um, uh, they, they, um, what the heck's his name? Uh, Oliver Chow, and, uh, there's some more that, the, U, UMass has been a top team for a while now. All right, we got a neutral zone faceoff coming up here just outside of the Yukon end. UMass gets a line change and fresh legs on the ice, and here we go. Puck is dropped. Yukon wins it back. Back in their own zone now. UMass on the forecheck. Huskies trying to break out. U uh, UMass keeps it in. Long shot from the point goes wide. Puck's now behind the net. Two guys into the corner going for it. One from each team. Yukon comes away with it. Pass into the middle of the ice now, up and out of the zone. Over the red line and now brought into the offensive end by the Huskies. And on the forecheck now, UMass looking for a quick breakout. They get it from behind their net, off glass and out. Over the red line now, moved into the offensive zone. And on the forecheck, here comes the Minutemen. Looking to get a lead in this game just about two minutes into the second period. Sent down low now. Pucks in the corner. Both teams have three guys down there. UMass comes away with it. Try to get a pass out in front. That one gets blocked defensively. Oh, big hit along the wall there. Nice check there by the UMass player. But uh, Husk the Huskies do get it out. And then UMass brings it back in offsides. And that will give us a whistle with 17.50 remaining in the second. Some good back and forth play here. That was a really nice hit as uh, U UConn was dumping the puck out of their zone off the boards. Solid check there from the uh, Minuteman player. Here we go now. Neutral zone faceoff. Faceoff one there by UMass. Over the red line, dumped in. All the way around behind the net now. Pucks in the corner. Both teams going for it. UMass comes away with it. They've got it back to the point now. D to D pass. Top of the circle. Long shot in. That one deflects wide. Kept in the zone though. Down in the corner. And that one's cleared out here by the Yukon Huskies. Back out to neutral ice. Getting back on side of the Minutemen. And now they dump it back in. Yukon looking for a quick breakout though. 
Defenseman falls down in the corner. UMass is after it. They come away with the puck. Trying to maintain possession here. Down now, down low. Trying to get a pass out in front. Into the slot area, and they score! Pass from behind the net into the slot, and the Minutemen make it 2-1 UMass. <laughs> and the number seven team in the country takes a 2-1 lead on a beautiful pass into the slot that gets ripped home. And there is a goal for the UMass Minutemen. A beautiful pass. Seth B, what is going on, bro? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. As UMass takes a 2-1 lead here in the second period over the UConn Huskies. And we get a neutral zone center ice face off there. Uh... Uh, one back by the Minutemen, and they bring it back right back into the offensive end. Here we go. Now we got penalty call coming up against UConn, and that is going to be a holding call against the Huskies, and UMass will go to the power play. 16.54 remaining, and UMass is going to the power play here as the defenseman spets for um, the Huskies. Goes to the box there for holding. And that's going to give an opportunity on the man advantage here for the Minutemen to extend their lead even further. Seth B., the absolute legend himself, is in the chat. Thank you so much for being here, man. Really, really appreciate it. And uh, that's a quick face-off win and clear there on the penalty kill by UConn. They send it all the way down now to the UMass end. Goaltender out to play it behind the net. Already killed off the first 15 seconds of this penalty. UMass coming back through the middle of the ice, though. Into the offensive end. Shot in! And that one glove save there by the UConn goaltender. I'm not even sure who's in goal for the Huskies. But that was a great stop there. Moved in now. Around the back of the net. UConn takes it away, though. And they send it. They send it up. Cleared again here as UConn is doing a good job on this penalty kill so far, but UMass now brings it back in. Looking to finally get set up with some sustained pressure in the offensive zone. Still a minute left of power play time. UConn takes it away, though, and clears it all the way around off the boards and out of the zone. Right back in behind the UMass net now. They have to regroup again. 45 seconds left in power play time. Under 16 minutes to go in the second as they bring it into the offensive zone. Shot here and another glove save for the UConn netminder. And we got a stoppage in play here with 39 seconds left on the power play. 2-1 to one, UMass with the lead, but this power play so far uh, has, has not uh, really done given much to the UMass Minutemen as they've kind of struggled to get chances on this man advantage opportunity offensive zone face off now though so they have a chance here as that one goes back one in the offensive end and now they're set up with a d to d pass moved into the slot deflected just wide off glass kept in the offensive end for now still 30 seconds of power play time and that one is cleared all the way down again there by the huskies as umass has to go back and play it behind their own goal 20 seconds left they've got time for one more rush or UConn is going to kill this off. Brought into the offensive end now. Pucks on the half wall. Back to the point. Long shot here. Power pass. And then the shot gets deflected off a stick. And up into the netting. Six seconds left. And another offensive zone faceoff coming up. Brian, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Let's see who this UConn goalie is. Number 33. Tomas Vomaka is the goalie for UConn. And the goalie for UMass, if I could type, is number 31. 
who is Matt Murray. Matt Murray, not the same Matt Murray that now plays for the Ottawa Senators, but the goalie for U UMass is Matt Murray, coincidentally named after a well, current NHL goalie. So that does it for the power play here as UConn has killed it off. They're looking for a break out of their zone here, and they get it. They sent all the way down. UMass trying to regroup at their own zone now. UConn will peel off and get fresh legs on the ice. 14, or just over 14 minutes remaining in the second period. UMass with the one goal lead. It's 2-1. Second period action. Bomaka sends that one around for the Huskies, and that one gets up and out of the zone as they clear it. Taken back, though, by UMass as they dump it back in. They win on the forecheck here. They've got the puck now behind the net, but UConn does a good job getting back and takes it away. Now moved into the neutral zone. Up ice. Here they come. Oh, yeah, Seth, that was absolutely brutal. I could not, like, I couldn't even bear to watch that. That was absolutely brutal. We got 13 and a half minutes left now, and UConn's finally getting some offensive zone time. Trying to pass the puck into the middle, not able to. Puck's in the corner. Both teams fighting for it. UMass trying to break out. Defenseman pinches, though, for UConn and keeps it in. They send it back deep. They're going to get fresh legs on the ice as UMass looks for another breakout on the other side, and they get it on the near side boards. All the way down behind the net now. UConn back regrouping. UMass not able to get uh, any pressure on the forecheck, and UConn sends that one all the way down. Now it's behind the UMass net. They move it up and out to the neutral zone quickly, though. It's brought into the offensive end, and that's going to be offsides against UMass. And we'll have a whistle here and a neutral zone faceoff coming up here. Uh, just outside of the UConn zone after the offsides. So a goal there by weight for the UMass Minutemen has them now up 2-1 uh, to one in this game in the middle stages of the second period. Yeah, Sabres reverse retro is pretty good. Um, their, theirs was definitely solid. Washington's was solid. Florida's is really, really nice. Um, there, there, there's a lot of decent ones. There's a few pretty bad ones, and then there's a lot that are kind of in the middle. They're they're fine. Um, but th there there were quite a few de you know really decent ones. Yeah, Tampa's is pretty nice. Um, I I I didn't I definitely Tampa's wasn't one of my favorite, but it was definitely it was definitely not one of the worst. It was. It was one of those middle ones where I was like, yeah, okay, that's that's pretty solid. Um, I do not like Arizona's retro. I, I hate the logo. Um, I, I hate the logo. I, I was not a fan of Arizona's. It has some redeeming qualities. I think, like, the desert scene at the bottom is pretty cool. Like, rather than having just stripes at the bottom like most jerseys, it has, like, that that desert scene is cool. Um the purple, I, the, I, I don't know how I feel about Arizona with the purple because purple's really not one of their colors, but um, uh, I absolutely hated the the Bruins. Absolutely hate the Bruins. They were they were on my list of five worst. They were number they were number uh, four on my five worst uh, of uh, of um, the uh, the five worst retro reverse retro jerseys. I hate the yellow in Boston's. It looks disgusting. It's it's like puke yellow. It's gross. Um, no, I, I love the I love Arizona's Kachina jerseys, but I do not like the logo on the purple ones. I, they're, they're black. Arizona's black jerseys are so much better than than the one than their reverse retros. Uh, the, the best one, I, I did a whole video guys on my five favorite and least favorite, but the best one in my opinion was the LA Kings. I absolutely love the LA Kings and that is not gold Sutton. That Bruins Jersey is not gold. It's puke yellow and it's absolutely disgusting. I, I absolutely hate Boston's. I hate, uh, Nashville's for almost the same reason. Uh, it's a disgusting yellow, um, the Kings were my favorite. Uh, Colorado's were one of my favorites. Um, and, uh, oh, chance here. And, a, wow, taking it to the net there. Good, solid chance for UConn. Only one defender back. But Murray keeps it out. 
And uh, they move the puck up and out of the zone. Yeah, Islanders did not change anything. The Kings' original colors, Rob, were purple and yellow. It looks exactly like retro Kings. The Kings in the 70s were purple and yellow, which is exactly what the Kings did with their jerseys, which is perfect. The, ki the Kings literally went back to their original colors, which is perfect. And then they brought the logo from the 90s. They brought the, they brought the Gretzky-era logo back with the original Kings colors. Which I, it, it, Kings did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. Hey, Peyton, what is going on? Welcome. No, Rob, the colors, the color, if read the, read the thing on NHL.com about the jersey. The logo was from Gretzky era with Gretzky's era with the Kings and the colors were the exact same colors that they wore in the six, in the late sixties and early seventies, the purple, the purple and yellow for the Kings jersey is exactly what they wore in the late sixties and early seventies. And the logo is from the early nineties and well, 88 to 90 when Gretzky when did Gretzky go to the Blues um 95 96 96 is when Gretzky went to the Blues so Gretz it was Gretzky's Kings logo with the 70s uh with the 60s 70s color scheme I hate Anaheim's it's a it's a freaking cartoon character it looks like a 10 year old grew it it looks like a 10 year old drew it um, Anaheim was my, one of my least favorites. Um, I'm doing pretty well, Peyton. Glad you're here. Thank you. Uh, thanks for being here. THG, welcome back. Thanks for being here. Pucks in the offensive end now. All right. I mean, I'm. That was the Kings' original colors, cause purple, purple is a royal color, and and yellow is yellow is a great complement to purple. Hyper Bros, what is going on? Welcome. Yeah, the Isles. The only thing the Islanders did is literally just darken the blue and call it a day. That like it was so unoriginal, so unoriginal. Anyway, we got a slashing call here coming up, and it's going to be against UConn. It looks like, no, maybe, no, the UMass bench. It's a UConn player going to the box here for slashing. Um, or no, maybe it is UMass. No, it is a UMass player. It looks like they had a UConn guy going to the box, but it's a UMass player going to the box. So UConn is going to get a power play opportunity here. Middle stage of the second period looking to... Um, looking to tie this game up. It's a 2-1 UMass lead right now. Um, my, yeah, Montreal's jerseys looked really, really sharp. They just, they switched the blue and the red. They literally reversed it and, and inverted the blue and the red, and it looks nice. It looked, I'll, I'll say it, it was weird seeing Montreal with a blue jersey at first, but when you look at how clean it came out, um, it, it was, it, it came out very, very nice. Uh, Columbus is, is another weird one. Like I look at Columbus and see like a Jersey that's almost all red. And I'm just like, Whoa, like what? It, it's Columbus is, is very weird to look at. All right, so we've got a slashing call here against UMass, and we're going to have a power play opportunity for the UConn Huskies here. Yeah, Montreal has, has some of the, is one of the best color schemes and just some of the cleanest jerseys in the league. So there's really no reason to mess with that too much. And they didn't. They just inverted the colors, and it came out really, really nice. 
So I, I'm, I like Montreal's a lot. But anyway, face off one back here by the Minuteman. Looking to kill off this penalty. Pucks in the corner. They're looking for a quick breakout. Not able to get it, though. And finally, they do up and out of the zone all the way down to the Yukon end. Vomaka out to play it. He leaves it behind the net for his defenseman, and UConn will try to get on the rush here and into, back into the offensive zone. Man advantage time here for the Huskies, trying to tie this game up at two. Into the middle there, shot! That one gets blocked down in front. Sending down behind the net now. Cleared again by the Husky or by the Minutemen. Huskies through the neutral zone trying to bring it back in. They've still got a minute 15 of power play time. Cross ice pass. Pucks in the circle. Now down low into the corner. Back out to the point here. Now on the half wall. Moving the puck. Face off. Dot shot. And that one gets stopped. Goes high on Murray. Sending down low now. All the way around. Moved up and out. Cleared here. A shorthanded opportunity. Two on two up ice for UMass. And that shot goes high blocker hot side wide of the goal and into the corner. UConn with it now back into the offensive end. Quick moving play here. Down they got on the half wall. They keep it in. Back to the point. Long shot. That one blasted wide with 40 seconds left. Sent out there by the Minutemen. They clear it all the way down. We're down to 35 seconds on the power play. One, la one chance for a rush here for the Huskies. Before this power play is over, UMass trying to kill it off and maintain their lead. 7.20 left in the second period. Dumped into the offensive end. UMass takes out and clears it out. Yeah, Colorado's jersey is one of, reverse retro is one of my favorites. Um, I wasn't, I'm not a big fan of Dallas's. It's a little bit better than Detroit's, but still way too much just blank. So boring, just white everywhere. There's a little bit of the star design with some green, but it's just so boring with just blank. Like, they needed to add something to it. I would have liked it if it was white uh, on the top, but then the whole, like, under the star, like, you make the outline of the star yellow and then put under it just be green. That would have been a cool design, in my opinion. But the white everywhere is just... It's just I don't know. It wasn't nearly as bad as Detroit's. Detroit was the worst by far. That just should not have even been a thing. Um, but uh, I wasn't huge on Dallas's. Detroit's is literally a practice jersey and looks absolutely horrible. I can't believe they, they went with that. I mean, it's so bad. But here's UConn. Penalty is over. UMass has killed it off. UConn back into the offensive end, though. UMass looking for a quick breakout. They move it over the uh, red line now into the offensive end, trying to extend their lead to two. Puck into the middle. Poked away, though, by the UConn defense. Now they're trying to clear the zone. UMass not able to keep it in, and it goes all the way out. Under six minutes now to go in the second. Moved over into neutral ice and now into the offensive end. Big hit there by the UConn defenseman, laying out the forward there for UMass, but UMass takes it back and brings it into the offensive end again. Absolutely red rubber. Pittsburgh should have gone with Robo Penguin. Absolutely agree. Also, I wish Pittsburgh's jersey was black base instead of white base. It would have looked a lot better with a black base. But, um, yeah, I thought Pittsburgh's was very meh as UConn brings it back in. Pass into the middle. Shot! And somehow that one goes wide. What a chance for the UMass Minutemen right in the slot. And it somehow goes wide. Yeah, you, uh, Vancouver's was pretty slick. They changed it up with, like, the gradient blue into green, which I thought was cool. At least they at least they tried something as Murray makes a glove save there and covers it up. We get a whistle here. We're going to head to commercial break with 5.04 left in the second. At least Vancouver... Oh, yeah, we got a... Um, no penalty, just a commercial break. We've got a... Uh, we've got... Uh, what am I trying to say? It was interesting, Vancouver's, like, watching them... Um, you know, really kind of take a swing at something different, and I thought it came out pretty pretty solid for the Canucks. It, it does look like a Sprite can. Um, it does look like a Sprite can. I've seen a lot of memes on that on, on the internet, but I think it, it looks pretty solid. But we are here, second period action between the UMass Minutemen and the UConn Huskies. It's 2-1 to one UMass here. 
with uh, about five minutes left in the second. I appreciate all of you guys watching. Please remember to hit that subscribe button if you're new. And hit that thumbs up button if you haven't yet. Both of those things help out so much and really, really help the channel a ton and help this video a ton. Appreciate you all watching. Um, I apologize for the, uh, the change in schedule tonight. We were supposed to be doing the UNH Boston College game at 7. Um, but then uh, I found out right as I was going to, to start that stream, I was down here at like 6.30 trying to get everything set up. And I found out that that game was postponed. So I don't know what happened there, why they had to cancel the game and postpone it to a later date. But um, I quickly found this game between UConn and UMass. It started at 6, so I wasn't able to see the first period of it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we, we, did, uh, we, we had to quickly change the schedule on the fly here, to say the least. And uh, trying to get as much of this game as, as possible here without, uh, um, but obviously, we're not doing the normal stream that was scheduled for tonight. Willow, what is going on? Welcome to the stream, man. Thank you so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. 5.04 left in the second. Offensive zone faceoff here for the UConn Huskies looking to tie this game up before intermission. Linesman here, not dropping the puck. They reset, and now they win it. And UConn wins it back here in the offensive end. But good play there by the winger for UMass, and they're able to push it out to the neutral zone and eventually all the way down to the UConn end. Uh, puck's in the corner, now off the boards and out. Moved in the middle of the ice. Here come the Huskies as the UMass player falls down. Shot there. That one goes high over the net. Wow, Willow, that's pretty cool. That's uh, that's really cool, actually, that you got to meet him. And uh, we got cleared out here by the Minutemen as they send it out back to neutral ice. Uh, UConn's jerseys are nice. Uh, I, I am a fan of the UConn colors, and I am a fan of their jerseys. That dark blue with the red and white accent looks very, very nice. So, Connor, welcome, and uh, I am a big fan of the UConn jerseys, absolutely. So we got a whistle here with 417 left. UMass holding on to their 2-1 lead. UConn would absolutely love to tie this up heading into the intermission here. Um, that'd be really big if they could bring it, bring themselves into the third with a tie game. We got an offensive zone faceoff coming up, though, for the UMass Minutemen. Center here is having a discussion with the linesman, waiting for the UConn center to come in, and then they both jump on the faceoff here. So... Linesman waiting and drop the puck. And UConn wins it back. Behind the net now. UConn with it looking for a quick breakout play. Off boards. Not able to get it out though as it chips up and out of play. And we get a whistle here. And another faceoff coming up. Just a few seconds came off the clock on that play. All right, so that must have gone off a UMass stick as we go out and get it cleared out here. It's neutral ice, UMass with it. UConn knocks it down, though, and brings it back into the offensive end. Four minutes remaining in the second. Sent in down. Sent in down low here. Moved up and out. UMass with it now over the red line. Trying to bring it into the offensive end to extend their lead. Stood up, though, at the blue line, and UConn takes it back. Now down, regrouping behind their net, looking for a breakout play. They've run into the goalie, and the penalty is going to be against the UConn goaltender, Tomas Vomaka, for tripping. They are calling a penalty here against the UConn goaltender for tripping as he tripped one of the UMass players in the offensive zone trying to cut across the crease but it looked like he was still in his crease and UConn is not happy about this call let's see does he stick his leg out or anything I mean he's in the crease you wow you see goalies do that all the time and they never get called for penalties that was an interesting call there against the UConn Huskies. And UMass goes to the power play here with 335 remaining. 
You see goaltenders do that all the time and never get called. And, and that's a really weird penalty call. As long as the goalie's in the crease, they're usually allowed to pretty much do whatever they want. And the ref decides to call a penalty there. And now we got a little scrum after the whistle as uh, the UMass player was in the crease. And UConn's defense did not take kindly to that. Uh, Dennis, what is going on? This game is at UMass Amherst. Thanks for stopping in and watching. Appreciate having you here as always. We got a stoppage here. A minute 48 remaining on the power play here for the Minutemen. 322 remaining in the second. Cleared out there by the Yukon Huskies. And we got a stoppage here. And an offensive zone faceoff coming up for UConn on the penalty kill here. Oh, possibly a shorthanded chance coming up here. And now what do we have as the players all start to move? They just moved it to the new... Uh-oh, now the refs... The refs don't know where they want the faceoff to be. And now they decide, nope, never mind. It's going to be a neutral zone faceoff. And it's just outside of the UMass end. So 141 left here in the second period. UMass with a 2-1 lead on the power play here. With 310 left in the period. And they are trying to get it back into the offensive zone. Drop pass in the neutral zone though. Missed again. And they got to try and go back and regroup. Not sharp on the power play here for UMass. But it is the first game of the season. So that's not completely unexpected. Taken down in the corner, but kept in the zone. Minutemen with it. Back at the point now. Top of the circle. Back to the other side. Middle of the ice now. Looking for a play. Down in the faceoff dot. Down low now. Short, uh, Sharp angle shot there. That one gets stopped by Vomaka. Still in the offensive end, though. Long shot from the point. That one gets stopped down in front as well. Nice stop there for the UConn goalie, Tomas Vomaka. And it's cleared by the Huskies. They're trying to kill this thing off and keep it a one-goal game. 45 seconds left in power play time. Ticking down towards two minutes left in the second. Over the red line. Now over the blue line and into the offensive end. Here come the Minutemen with it. Cuts to the middle of the ice and then circles back. Top of the circle now. Looking at him just make a possession play. To the circle on the other side. Into the slot, but fanning on the shot was the UMass player there in the middle of the ice. Juicy, what's going on? Welcome to the stream as we get a whistle here and a face-off coming up. Derek, welcome to the stream. Thank you for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Great to have you guys in the chat. As always, Vaughn, welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. We got late second period action. UMass with a chance on the power play. Just fans on it, though. And we get a clear and a face-off coming out. Into the offensive end now. UMass with it. Final seconds of power play time. Long shot from the point. Deflected just wide of the net there. And UConn is able to send that one all the way down. Under 10 seconds now remaining on the man advantage. That is just about going to kill it for the UConn Huskies. Another nice job on the penalty kill as UMass is not able to convert and extend their lead. Final minute and a half now of the second period. That one's dumped in here by the Minutemen. They'll get fresh legs on the ice as we go for a partial line change here. Behind the net, UConn with it. No real four-checking pressure. UConn now dumps that one up and out of the zone. Dumped into the offensive end. Now they're going hard on the four-check with a minute five remaining in the period. Kept in high at the, in the point. Long shot! Might have been deflected in front, but Matt Murray makes the save for the minute, men. And uh, he covers it up with 102 remaining. And we've got an offensive zone faceoff for the UConn Huskies coming up here with 102 left in the second period. But that was a nice stop by the UMass goaltender, Murray. And uh, he has kept this a one-goal game here late stages of the second period.
Taking a long time to get this face off here. Now, I don't know what the refs are waiting for, what they're looking at, but they're taking quite a while to get this off. Finally, the linesman calls the centers into the dot. Here we go. Final minute now of the second period. Face off one back by the Huskies. Pucks at the blue line, trying to get a shot in there. Gets deflected. Knocked down, though, by UConn. They keep possession. Pucks now in the corner. Under a minute to go. Looking to tie this game up before intermission. UMass looking for a break out of their zone. Good board play here from both teams. Two guys on it from each side. Digging around for the puck here with 40 seconds left in the period. UMass just trying to get it out of their zone. They finally do over the red line now. UConn trying to take it back into their zone now, however, and UMass is hard on the forecheck. Pucks in the corner. Both teams going for it. Moving it around here. UMass not trying to keep it in. Not able to. As UConn gets that one out and clears it all the way down. 20 seconds remaining now in the second period. Looks like this one's probably going to be going to the break 2-1. to one. UMass with one last chance bringing it into the offensive end, but UConn takes it right away. Final 10 seconds now. Line change here, for, or at least for one guy for the Minutemen. They are, UConn curls back in the neutral zone, and that is going to do it as the horn sounds, and that is the end of the second period here. UMass with the only goal of the period from the slot. Nice shot from the slot after a beautiful slick pass from out from behind the net. And UMass takes a 2-1 to one lead here into the second intermission. And uh, that is how the third period will begin. So both teams head to the locker room. And that uh, brings us to the second intermission. So thank you guys for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Please remember to hit that thumbs up button if you haven't yet. And subscribe if you are new. Um, so I'm bringing you as much college hockey action as I can until the NHL restarts. Um, but I uh, thank you all again so much for watching. Really appreciate having you here. And uh, we'll, be, we'll be killing some time here at the intermission while we wait for the third period to start. So I just realized I never updated the tags from the old game. Um, so I got to change that here. And maybe that will get some more people in here. So Connecticut, Massachusetts. UConn, UMass, everything else I think is the same. It's all hockey East still. So um, hopefully with the tags updated, we'll get some more people in here. Also, this was an earlier game, so um, might not get as many people because of the early time on the game, um, unfortunately. Um, Wow, what, Derek? That is uh, that is really interesting. Your title page is changing to NBA. Wow, that's very interesting. That is weird. I don't know what's up with that, Derek. But uh, Ben, welcome, man. Thank you so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Great to have you here, as always. Um, we're just here at the second intermission between UConn and UMass. Um. The original game that I was going to do tonight, which was UNH and BC, got postponed to a later date. I have no idea why. I have not seen any reasoning why. All I've seen is that it was postponed, so I don't know what caused that. But um, I was supposed to be doing that game at 7 o'clock. I went to set up for that stream, and I f found out the game was postponed. So I switched to this UMass UConn game, but this game started at 6, so... I missed the entire first period, um, so we're only going to be able to do two periods tonight, unfortunately, but it's better than nothing, and um, I'll probably take the extra time after this stream ends to, uh, to, uh, uh, to edit a video and have one ready for um, tomorrow. So, yeah, um, that's why we're doing this game and not the UNHBC game that I originally wanted to. Um, Oh, cool, Derek. I will check that out. I will check that out. Uh, this game is on Nesson Plus in my area, uh, Logan. This is on Nesson Plus. Nesson does all, a lot of Hockey East games, but that's only that's only if you live in New England. Um, if, if you're not from New England, you're probably not going to be able to watch these games.
Wow, Derek, I just uh, I just watched that, and um, that is really weird. Yeah, I don't know. That is very very weird, Derek. Um, Bill, uh, this, no, this would be a horrendous football game, Vaughn. This, this is much, much better off a hockey game than a football game. This, oh my God, this would be, I mean, two of the worst Division One college football teams that you'll find is UConn and UMass. Their football programs are absolutely horrible. But anyway, we're here at the second intermission, waiting for the third period to start between UMass and UConn. Minutemen have a one-goal lead here heading into the third. They are the number seven team in the country, and they will be looking to uh, hopefully uh, go home with a win tonight in their first game. UConn trying to pull off the upset. Man, what a, what a uh, start to the season it would be for UConn if they could upset a top-ten team in the nation uh, in their first game. All right, Derek. See you later, man. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. Oh, uh, I just, I, I cannot watch, I do not want to watch UConn or UMass football ever play a game again. Like, they should literally be Division Three. Like, they should not even be a D1 team. UMass football is so bad. Their hockey team, however, very, very good. Um, good news for us. Good news for us is uh, college hockey intermissions are shorter than NHL intermissions. They're only 15 minutes as opposed to um, as opposed to being 18 minutes. And it's a fairly significant difference. Like it it sounds um, it sounds like it's not a big deal. Only three minutes, but it feels like a significant difference when the intermission is three minutes shorter. I honest, I did not even know that Akron had hockey red rubber. So, yeah, I guess they don't get a lot of attention because I did not even know that Akron had hockey. I've never heard of the Akron hockey team. Oh, all right, sorry, I was just checking some stuff there. Um, got big plans tomorrow, playing some flag football. Gotta be, gotta be at the field ready to warm up at 11:30. So, gotta edit that video tonight <sighs> rather than tomorrow morning because I'm not gonna have time tomorrow morning. So, uh, yeah, we are here, second intermission, just kind of waiting for uh, waiting for the third period to start. UMass obviously holding on to the one-goal lead. Um, couldn't tell you, THG. I don't know. I, know. I don't know much about anything for these teams this year. Um, this is their first game, so I, I have no idea. Uh, Eddie, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. 
Great to have you in the chat as always. I should probably change the period before I forget to. Um, so that's going to be third. Uh, yeah, oh, see, Akron plays ACHA. All right, that's why I don't know them then. Yeah, I I don't follow that at all, um, but I, I follow the D1 NCAA teams. But, um, I yeah, that's why, that's why I don't know Akron hockey then. King, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Um, we got third period action coming up here. UMass 2, UConn 1. UMass, the number 17 in the country. Seven team in the country to start the season and um they're holding on to a one goal lead in their first game of the year so far we got a big third period coming up we'll see if UConn can pull off the upset or if UMass holds on to the lead and um and makes uh make sure they get the win in their first game and and holds on to that uh that top spot these teams I would assume probably play again um probably play again tomorrow night given the fact that um that's usually how college is college especially this year that's usually how college works in general but especially this year I, you're you're seeing they play at one school on friday they play at the other school on saturday and that's their that's their weekend and then they play a new team next weekend so um i would assume that these two teams will be playing again tomorrow um but that game is not televised, unfortunately. Um, so, so yeah, it's. Um, I I obviously won't be doing that. Uh, let's see. Oh damn, Ben, that sucks, man. That really sucks. Yeah, I am very very glad that I'm not in school anymore. I would not want to have anything to do with being in school during all this shit. Um, who is UMass's biggest rival? That's an, that's a good question, THG. Um, I, I, I don't know. Um, I mean, Providence College and UMass have had a pretty good rivalry over the last few years because they've both kind of, they've both kind of rose in the ranks. Um, they both kind of rose in the ranks at the same time. And they've both been really good programs for the past number of years. Um, and uh, Boston College is, and Boston University are both also pretty good, uh, pretty good rivals for UMass as well. Um, all, basically, all, the, all those top teams end up being pretty good rivals with each other. Um, yeah, it looks like the ice is done which means we're probably only three or four minutes away from the third period starting, and we'll get back to uh, action here hopefully pretty shortly as we get a nice, uh, a nice commercial for UMass Amherst here. Wow, a nice UMass Amherst commercial. That is fantastic. I, I almost went to UMass Amherst. They were in my top three. When I was making a decision for where I wanted to go to college, UMass was in my top three. But I ended up going to Worcester State and paying a lot less money to go to Worcester State than I would have to go to UMass Amherst. But I kind of wish I went to UMass Amherst. Going to a D1 school would have been much, much more fun than going to a D3 school, to say the least. Yeah, red rubber. Um, yeah, o Ohio State. Uh, Ohio State does have a very solid hockey team now. Big Ten. Um, they they play against um, you know a lot of you know Michigan, Michigan State, um, Notre Dame plays in Big Ten, Wisconsin. So 
Yeah, b- the Big Ten Conference in general um, has has put together, you know, has put together, um, a, you know, a really good hockey conference. And I mean, some of those teams have always kind of been hockey powers. Like Michigan's always been a really good hockey school. Um, Notre Dame's had some really good seasons. Um, but but the Big Ten as a whole, I think Penn State is even part of that now. Um, the Big Ten as a whole has really come together to put together a very, very good hockey conference. Hey, David, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate it. Um, we've got, let's see, uh, we're just about ready. We're at commercial break now. We're just about ready for the start of the third period. UMass is holding on to a 2-1 lead here over UConn with a big third coming up. UConn trying to pull off the upset. And uh, UMass, the number 17 the number, I keep saying 17, the number seven team in the nation uh, is obviously looking to take home a win in their first, um, in their first game of the season. But refs are back out on the ice here. Teams are not yet, though, so we might be another minute or two away from actual puck drop. But the refs are back out on the ice, so it looks like we're ready to go. All right, teams are back out now for a quick warm-up, and then we'll start the third. So uh, let's see. Matchup history. Um, UMass has dominated UConn in their, uh, in their matchup history so far. And, uh, yeah, like I said, UMass has been a, was really, really bad for a long time. And, um, and recently, um, the last like five, six years, their program has really risen to prominence as they've become one of the best hockey schools in the country. And I think having Kale McCarr there for a couple of years certainly, certainly helped. Um, but anyway teams are lining up here we're getting ready for the start of the third big period coming up don't forget to please subscribe if you are new hit that thumbs up button if you haven't yet both of those things help out so much and are very much appreciated i normally cover the nhl but i'm going to be doing as much college hockey as i can until the nhl returns so uh, there'll be plenty of college hockey action coming your way on this channel as well. As we are underway in the third, UMass 2, UConn 1, and UMass wins the opening faceoff. They're in the, in the neutral zone now. Dumped into the offensive end. No icing as it gets deflected in. Um, move now. Dumped in by UConn. Into the offensive end now. Here they come looking to tie the game. Pucks behind the net. Pass out in front. Not able to get through. Good defense there from UMass. And they're able to clear it. Three on three up ice now into the UConn zone. Puck gets knocked off their stick and into the corner it goes. Both teams after it. UConn comes away with it up the boards. Looking for a breakout play. Pass into the middle of the ice. Gets deflected, but it does end up coming out of the zone. And now we get a whistle here. As that deflects up and out of play with uh, not even a minute into the period. And we'll have a neutral zone faceoff coming up. It was a good defensive play there by UMass early in this period to make sure UConn didn't get a quality scoring chance right in front of the net. And they did a good job getting back defensively. Oh, no, it must have been icing. The pass did not connect. Um, and it must have been icing because it's an offensive zone faceoff for the Minutemen. Long shot from the point, And that one just goes wide. That one just goes wide of the UConn net there, and they're able to clear it out. Now moving it up ice into the offensive end come the Huskies. Not able to maintain possession, though, and UMass clears it out. Just about a minute in. Behind the net now, UConn moves it, and they're able to get it in the neutral zone. Over the red line and into the UMass end. Shot there. That one gets blocker to side by Mari. Now it goes off boards behind the net. Shot from the point gets blocked down in front. UConn keeps it in, however, though. UConn with it now. It's behind the net. Down in the corner looking for a pass out in front. Mari keeps it out. Both teams looking for the puck. Digging away at it. UConn comes away with it. They move it back. Puck's back in the corner now, but they have possession. Around the net. Pass out in front. Knocked down by the UMass defense. Kept in at the blue line again, though, by UConn. Finally, UMass is going to get another opportunity, and they just go off the boards and out. Cleared over the blue line now. 
UConn brings it right back in, though, from the neutral zone. Long shot there. That one goes wide behind the net. Off, uh, off the boards. UMass looking for a quick breakout play. Sent in down low now. Behind the net, UConn with it. Eight, 18 minutes left now in the third period. Good start to this period for the UConn Huskies so far. Looking to tie this game up. Brought right back in again to the offensive end. Pucks behind the net now. UMass trying to dig it away and look for a breakout pass. Defenseman with it behind the net. Goes off glass and out. Cleared all the way down. Now no icing on the play as two players go after it. One from each team. UConn comes away with it. UMass has to try and clear their zone again. They do. All the way into the UConn end. Defenseman after it. Four checker for the Minutemen. Now a second guy gets back for UConn and they come away with the puck. UMass's four check is solid, but they're not able to gain possession in the offensive end. They do get possession back at the neutral zone, though. UMass with it now. Up into the offensive end. Sent all the way down. Hard on the four check. Pucks in the corner. Looking to gain some offense here behind the net. Pass out in front. Nice job defensively there by UConn. Blocking that pass out in front. Under 17 minutes now to go in the third. That one's moved now. Moved into the offensive end by UConn. Dumped in. Um, big hit there in the neutral zone. UMass comes away with it. They bring it into the UConn end now. Sent down low. 16.30 remaining now in the third period. Two players are tied up together along the boards, but UMass keeps it into the offensive end, at least for now. UConn finally gets it out, and it's cleared to neutral ice. UMass with it now. Takes it back at the red line. Brought into the offensive end again. Just maintaining possession here and sending it down low behind the net. Puck's in the far corner now. UMass gets to it first. UConn gets back defensively, though, and they're looking for a breakout play. They get it. Moved into the middle of the ice. Splits the defenseman and goes all the way down. That is no icing on the play. UConn goes hard in on the forecheck here. UMass looking to break it off oh, out off the board. They bring it up and out. UConn takes it back, though, at neutral ice. Unable to bring it in over the blue line. Solid stand up there by the UMass defense. UConn now looking to bring it up and out of their zone. 15 and a half minutes remaining in the third period. Huskies need a goal to tie this thing up. They are looking to upset the seventh ranked UMass Minutemen in their first game of the season here. UMass is obviously hoping to start the season off on the right foot with a nice home win against a conference rival. UMass takes that one away in their own end and they break it up ice. Into the offensive end now. Here come the Minutemen. Sent down low. Pucks on the half wall. Bringing it down towards the corner, then they curl back. Now it is down in the corner. Pass into the middle. Great back check there from UConn. Kept in by UMass. So long shot from the point. And Vomaka gloves that one down for the minute for the Huskies, excuse me. Makes the save. And he's going to cover that one up with the glove with 1454 remaining in the third period. And we'll have an offensive zone faceoff for UMass coming up here. Hey, what's going on, Sal? Welcome to the stream. Thanks so much for being here. My buddy Sal from Behind the Arc Basketball does some great basketball con uh, content over on his channel. Um, thanks for stopping in, man. Really, really appreciate it. And yeah, we've got uh, we've got some college hockey action here tonight between UMass and UConn. Hockey East. So we're under 15 minutes to go now in the third. This was a 6 p.m. start time for this game. Offensive zone draw, one back by the Minutemen. D to D pass here. They got at the top of the circle. Now they send it down low. Looking to maintain possession in the offensive end. Another goal would be a backbreaker for UConn if they give it up. So UMass is trying to extend this lead to two. Now it's moved up and out. UConn comes away with it out of their own end. Over the red line, into the offensive end, but UMass takes it back defensively. Off the boards and out. Clear to the neutral zone. Nice step up there by the UConn defenseman in the neutral zone, but UMass is able to squeak it by him. That one sent all the way down. Out to play it is Murray for uh, UMass. 
D to D pass now. They're looking to break it out of their zone. They get it out. Into the offensive end now. Here come the Minutemen. Bring it right back into the offensive end. And Vomaka has to cover that one as well as he pads it down with exactly 14 minutes remaining in the third. And he makes the save. Another offensive zone faceoff for UMass coming up. So uh, it was a good start to the period for the UConn Huskies. They had some pretty decent pressure uh, in the offensive end. But UMass has really put the pressure back on the last four minutes here. And um, UConn's starting to struggle to get the puck out of their own zone. So UMass now with it. UConn trying to clear it. Kept in at the point, though, for now by the Minutemen. Sent back down in the corner. Harden on the forecheck. Here come the Minutemen. UConn gets it, though, and sends it out. Oh, big hit in the neutral zone as the defenseman steps up. And now we get a whistle, and it's going to be a penalty call against UMass for that step up. Let's see. They might, um, they might be calling interference on this as it looks like UConn is going to go to the power play here, and that is going to give them an opportunity to tie this game up here in the third period, which they are desperately looking to do and possibly force overtime here. But we had to commercial break. UConn power play coming up after the break. We've got a 2-1 UMass Minuteman lead right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you are new. Both of those things help out so much, and I really, really appreciate it. Um, bringing you college hockey action here before, while we wait for the NHL to begin. And I'm going to be covering as many college games as I can each weekend. Um, for the foreseeable future until the NHL returns. So we're at commercial break here with 14 minutes or around 14 minutes left. 1341 left in the third period here. All right, here we go. Back. No, we're not. They're just showing the. Never mind. They're just showing the replay. So it's a UConn power play here. Offensive zone face off one back. They set up with possession now. High slot. Back point. Back to the point now. Top of the circle. UConn with the puck. Trying to get the game tying goal set up here. They're down by one. 2 1 game in the third period. Still a minute 45 in power play time. Still over 13 minutes left in the period. They're just set up with it now in the offensive end. Shot there. That one gets blocked in front. Chance from the slot. Stopped by Murray in front. What a save. Great chance there for UConn. And they're not able to put it in as Murray makes a huge save after the first shot gets blocked on the way through. Now we got some pushing and shoving after the play here. And we get a stoppage with 133 remaining. And do we have another penalty? Not sure what the whistle was for here. Do we have another penalty here? No. I get, Oh, the puck went up and out of play. Okay, so still five on four. Puck went out of play. Offensive zone faceoff one again. Chance here on the backdoor shot. Oh, a huge save by Murray. What a faceoff play there for UConn. But Murray comes up huge with a blocker save. And it's cleared all the way down by UMass. UConn just not able to get the puck in the net right now. Over the blue line now into the offensive end, but that's going to be offsides, and that play quickly gets whistled down with 110 remaining in the period, or uh, 110 remaining on the power play, 1250 remaining in the period, and UConn is offsides entering the zone there on the man advantage, and that will be a neutral zone faceoff now coming up. Face off taken back here by UConn, but they have to regroup in their own zone. Now through the neutral zone. Up into the offensive end. Under a minute left on the power play. UMass takes it away, and now they move it up ice. UMass shorthanded into the offensive zone, looking for a chance. They're just going to curl back and play keep away now. 
Good penalty killing here from the UMass Minutemen as they just play keep away with possession. Sent all the way down now behind the net. UConn's goalie Vomaka has to come out and play it. He leaves it behind the net for his defenseman. We've got 35 seconds left in power play time for the Huskies. Into the offensive zone. This could be their final rush. UMass pokes it off their stick though. Huskies quickly try and get it back. Moved into the middle of the ice. Chance from the slot. And that one just goes wide. Pucks in the corner now. 20 seconds left in power play time. Under 15 seconds now. Chance there. That one gets blocked down in front. Cleared out there by UMass. But it goes off, uh, off of the netting and out. And that is going to be a whistle here. But I believe it went off a UConn stick. So it's going to come out to the neutral zone for the faceoff. Neutral zone faceoff here, won by the Huskies. But the power play time is down to the final seconds, and that is going to do it. As uh, UMass has killed this one off, and we are back to five-on-five five hockey. Dumped in here by UConn into the offensive end. Now they're going after it in the corner. UMass trying to set up a breakout play here. Under 12 minutes now remaining in the third period. UConn down by a goal, looking to tie this game up. UMass, though, brings it into the offensive end. They would love an insurance mark here. Nice hit by the UConn defenseman. Knocks a puck off the UMass player's stick. UMass keeps it in, though, at least for now. Down back behind the net, moving the puck around. Now in the corner, back to the point. Cross-ice pass, not able to get through. Solid defense there from UConn, and they're able to get it up and out. Moved over the red line now and into the uh, dumped into the offensive end as they get a quick line change. UMass brings it right back, catches him in a change, and a shot there from the top of the circle. Vomaka makes a glove save and covers it up. New offensive zone faceoff for UMass coming up here with 10.55 remaining in the third. Vomaka with a nice glove save there on the chance for the minute, man. All right, face off. One back there by UMass. Pucks at the point. Long shot gets deflected wide on the way through. Goes wide of Vomaka. Behind the net now, both teams fighting for it. Three Huskies and two minute men there. Huskies come away with it. Behind their own net, they lose it in the corner, though. UMass trying to take it back. Back on the four check. Huskies will try the other side. They're back on the near side now. They skate it up the wall. Now they're out. Over into the neutral zone, over the red line, and into the offensive end. Dumped in. UMass takes it back, though, in their own zone. Looking at a quick play. Hard forecheck here from UConn. Not able to get there fast enough. Here comes UMass now back into the offensive zone as we tick down towards the halfway point of this period. Third and final frame here between the UConn Huskies and UMass Minutemen. It is 2-1 to one UMass right now. Huskies looking for the game-tying goal. UMass looking to extend their lead to two, which would hopefully ice this game for them. Uh, they would hope so, not giving up. Oh, and they get it! They score! Short side goal from a bad angle. And the UMass Minutemen make it 3-1. And just as I was saying that hope, you know, hopefully for them, ice is the game. They certainly don't want to give up two goals in the final 10 minutes to end up blowing this lead. They now have a two-goal lead, which seems like a very big insurance marker there for the Minutemen. A goal that should not have gone in. Cross ice pass from a to a guy on the um, backside, sharp angle. McDonald with the goal, and it was a short side shot shot under Vomaka's arm, blocker side goes in the net at a tough angle, and just under 10 minutes to go now in the third, right at the halfway point of that period, uh, UMass has extended their lead to two. So, UConn now desperately in search for some offense. Down in the corner. Hard check on the forecheck. Trying to move it in the middle of the ice. UMass gets back defensively and takes it away. UConn keeps it in the offensive end. However, defenseman pinching. Pass out in front. No one's able to get a stick on it as everyone tied each other up there. And UMass comes away with the puck. Now they're into the offensive end. Cross ice pass is too hot to handle. Sent down into the corner, though. Back to the faceoff dot. Shot that one gets stopped by uh, Vomaka. Nice save there from the UConn keeper. And now UConn dumps it into the offensive zone, but will go for a line change rather than apply pressure. 
9-10 now remaining in the third as UMass brings it through the neutral zone. Into the offensive end. Pucks in the corner now. UConn takes it away. Looking for a quick clear. Under nine minutes to go now in the third period. UMass trying to keep it in the offensive end. Back out to neutral ice. One of the UMass players gets tripped down. No penalty. No, we do. The whistle goes, and I believe we do have a penalty call coming up. And we might have a UMass power play when we come back from commercial, but they just went to commercial break here with 8.46 remaining without saying anything, so I'm not sure. I think that whistle was for a tripping call, but I'm not entirely sure. We'll know for sure when we get back from the commercial break here, but um, that, uh, that certainly looks like a tripping call in the neutral zone against the UConn Huskies there. Uh, totally depends, THG. Some, some games, they are very ticky. They're very tic-tac. Other games, they're, they're not at all. I, I think it completely depends on the, it completely depends on the, uh, on the refs. And, um, I, it de completely depends on the game. I've seen it every which way. Very inconsistent, just like the NHL. But anyway, guys, we are, uh, past the halfway point of this third period. The game is almost over. Please remember to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Both of those things help out so much and are really, really appreciated. Bringing you some college hockey action here. Um, and we do have a uh, we do have a UConn penalty. So I, I was right. UMass is going to the power play here. It was for the trip in the neutral zone. And uh, that is going to give UMass an opportunity here to, uh, to extend their lead to three. And really put this game out of reach with a power play goal in an extension to four to one. So it's three one UMass right now. They've got two minutes of power play time with eight forty six left in the third. And UConn wins the faceoff, but the refs immediately whistle it down. So I think they want to redo that puck drop. Um, yeah, THG. I think it's a very very real possibility. Um, I think maybe they win, they could potentially win a game, but I think it's a very, very real possibility that they go 0-16. Very, very much so. Anyway, we're going to redo that face-off here. Power play UMass looking to extend the lead of three and put this game out of reach. UConn desperately needs to kill this thing off. They cannot afford to give up another goal here, late or middle to late stages of the third period. Face off one back now by UMass. They keep keep it in at the point, and now they're set up on the power play. Long shot there. That one stopped by Vomaka, and Vomaka makes another save on the rebound and covers it up. We'll have an offensive zone face off again for UMass, but UConn's goaltender. Uh, does a very, very nice job there. Tomas Vomaka keeping that one out of the net and keeping this a two-goal game, and UConn still somewhat in it. That face-off is one back by UConn. They'll look to clear their zone. Moved. Not moved, but not able to get it out. UMass keeps it in. UConn finally able. A lot of hard work along the boards there, and they get it out. Now they got a shorthanded chance. Pocket in the middle, and it's just too far in front of the streaking UConn forward. And now UMass has it. They've got UConn. One guy caught up ice, but they can't do anything with it as UConn sends it right back down. UMass now back into the offensive end. Down to about a minute 10 remaining on the power play. Trying to get set up in the offensive zone. UConn with another quick clear. And a solid defensive play on the penalty kill. We're now under 8 minutes to go in the third period. And only a minute left on the power play here for UMass. UConn has killed off the first half of it. They need to kill off the second. They cannot afford to give up another goal. Into the offensive end now. Uh, minute men with it. They're setting up with possession here. Still with 40. Five plus seconds left, so plenty of time for them to get 
something going here with the man advantage. Top of the circle, back to the point, back into the circle, into the slot. Block down in front there, solid penalty kill. Now the puck's on the half wall, now down into the corner. UMass still with it. They'll try the other side. Player on the half wall with it, might go back to the point, might go back down low, does go down low. Pass cross ice, and wow, that one just misses wide of Vomaka. Great chance on the back door there for the Minutemen, but the shot goes wide on the uh, near post of Vomaka, and we've got 15 seconds left of the power play. Cleared all the way down by UConn, and UMass will have to regroup. They do, though, quickly, and brought right back in. Shot goes high. Off glass. Final seconds of the power play. UMass still with it in the offensive zone. Finally gloved down there by Vomaka. He covers it up and gets a whistle with 6.45 remaining in the third period. And that has done it. The power play is over and Vomaka is down for UConn. Vomaka must have caught that puck in a, in a soft spot where there's not a lot or any padding because he was down for UConn. That's weird, though. He gloved the puck. So, like, I don't know why he would hurt himself gloving the puck. Unless maybe it was a lower body issue. Maybe it wasn't the puck hitting him up high. Maybe it was a lower body issue. I I really don't know. I don't see anything there on why he would be shaken up by that. But he is good to go. And right off the faceoff makes a nice pad save on the shot from the point there. UMass just pouring on the pressure here. Trying to put this game out of reach for UConn. Six and a half left. UMass with the two-goal lead. A three-goal lead would pretty much end it. UMass with it now. Still in the offensive end. UConn struggling to get it out. There, and that one digging it for it in front. Both teams going for it. And Vomaka covers it up and gets a whistle. Wow. UConn desperately needs some offense here to try and tie this game up. But they cannot even uh, get the puck out of their own zone as UMass is just pouring on the pressure here. Another offensive zone faceoff coming up here. UMass with it in the offensive end, trying to win this drawback. UConn desperately needs to get this out of their zone and get some offensive zone time going. Um, UMass wins the draw again, kept in the offensive end. Shot in on front, that one gets blocked down right in front of the net. UConn comes away with it and is finally able to clear their zone. Deflected now into the offensive end. UConn trying to get it. Wow, Murray comes way out there for UMass. Covers it up. And now we get a little skirmish after his players come together. For uh, UMass was not happy with the UConn player going near their goaltender as he came out of the net to cover that one up. And um, their players are still, still tangled up a little bit here. So, again, hockey is back. Hockey's never fully back until you get a little nastiness between the teams, and we're starting to see a little bit of that here in this game. As uh, we're going to head to commercial break here with just under six minutes remaining in the third period. It is a 3-1 to one lead for the UMass Minutemen as we head to commercial break here in the third, and UConn desperately needs to get some offense going and um, really, really needs to get another goal on the board here in the next couple of minutes to really have a chance in this game. But thank you guys for watching so much. Really, really appreciate it. Please hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Both of those things help out so much. And uh, it's great to have you all here. Not, exa not exactly going to plan tonight with this, but uh, we're making the best of it. And I really, really appreciate all you guys for sticking with me. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully next weekend games don't get canceled and we'll actually get to do the planned game that we want to do next week. Um, when was the last time a line brawl happened during an NCAA game? Um, I mean, there's never real any real fights like in the NHL, um, but there there is uh, there's there's been some interesting skirmishes in college hockey. Uh, you can look them up on YouTube. They're they're on YouTube. The most recent ones, and there, there's been some real ones with guys throwing punches and stuff. But it's never it's never like the NHL. Yo, Chris M., what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thanks so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, game's been pretty good. UMass is winning as expected. They're the number seven team in the country. Um, 
UConn is not ranked, so so um, UMass is definitely the favorite in this game, and they've got the 3-1 lead here late in the third period. But uh, UConn's trying to get some offense going and trying to get back into this game with about six minutes left. But appreciate you stopping in and watching. Great to have you here, as always, as that faceoff is won back by UMass. UConn comes away with it, though, as they go pressuring in on the forecheck. Um, only in New England. It's on... It's on Nesson Plus in New England. Oh, Hockey East games are probably only going to be televised in New England, so I can watch them, but um, uh, people who aren't around here are not going to be able to see them most likely. Unless you can, uh, at least you can find a stream of them somewhere. There might be streams on Reddit or something. I don't know. Uh, but we got a whistle here with 533 left in the third. And that one's going to come all the way back down to the UMass end. So UConn with another offensive zone faceoff here. And they're going to try and get a goal on the board. If UConn can score a goal and make this a one-goal game within the um, within the next couple of uh, within the next couple of minutes, they could really make this a game again. So uh, this this is a this is a big next couple of minutes for the UConn Huskies. And it looks like UConn has used their timeout here. All right. Yeah, so UConn and UMass do play again um, tomorrow. So that game, unfortunately, is not televised, but they do play again tomorrow. Um, so that will be the first series of the season for these two teams. And uh, then they play – UConn plays Maine next weekend, and then they play Boston College the first weekend of, uh, of December. I will not be streaming a game tomorrow, no. So offensive zone faceoff here for UConn. One back here. They desperately need a goal to get back into this game. They're down by two with under six minutes left in the third. In the offensive end. Uh, UMass's goaltender Matt Murray doing everything he can to keep these pucks out. Nice save there on the shot from the half wall. UMass comes away with it now. They're trying to clear, not able to. Good keep in there from the UConn player. You, that shot gets blocked, though, and UMass is finally able to get it out. Five minutes now to go in the third. UConn with it over the red line, dumped right back into the Minuteman end. I would think probably within the next, maybe, maybe not for another couple of minutes, but UConn's going to be getting the goaltender off the ice for the extra attacker probably in about a minute and a half or so. So look for that as well. Um, that That's going to be happening here soon as UConn tries to get back into this game. UMass comes away with it, though. Here they come up ice, two on one. Chance to ice the game shot, and Vomaka makes the save, and it deflects up and off the netting out of play. What a big-time stop there for Vomaka as he keeps this a two-goal game and doesn't allow UMass to extend the lead to three. Two on one up ice. UMass gets a good shot off there, and Vomaka just deflects that one up and out of play. Really, really big stop there for the UConn netminder. Four ten remaining now in the third. Uh, Daniel, I have Comcast. Com Comcast is the TV provider in my area. Um, is that when we get a whistle here as two players come together along the boards and I believe the puck was just tied up there. So we'll have a whistle coming up. Uh, absolutely nothing about the NHL season has been announced, Luke. Um, from, from what I've heard, things are not going well between the owners and the players as far as as far as even coming to an agreement on anything. Um, so, uh, I mean, there, there's absolutely nothing official about next season. Next season isn't even guaranteed to happen. Um, there, there might not even be one. So there's 
We were still a long, long way to go before we know what the NHL is going to look like. Um, up and out of the zone now. Moved in by UConn. Into the offensive end. Desperately trying to get back on the, bo or, or on the board here. Um, that one's cleared all the way down. Under three minutes now, to, or under three and a half minutes now to go. You, uh, UConn's going to be pulling the goalie here any minute as we tick down towards three minutes to go. They're down by a bunch, or they're down by a couple of goals. Big hit there. Wow. Huge hit by the UMass defenseman, and he's going to get a penalty for that. Not exactly sure why. That looks like a great hit. UConn player touches the puck, and then why is that's a beautiful hit? What 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 is this ref looking at? This brain dead referee calls a penalty on this absolutely beautiful hit by the UMass defenseman there, and that's going to give UConn a power play chance here with 3:12 remaining in the third. Avi, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. And UConn has a real shot to get back into this game now. What a brain dead referee that just called that penalty. What that idiot should not be allowed to referee games. And now we get another whistle here with a minute 53 left on the power play and I don't know what the whistle was for. 304 left in the third. I have no idea what that whistle was for. And now they're just calling an offensive zone faceoff for UMass. Oh, we got a penalty against UConn here. So something happened back up, back behind the play, and there's a penalty against UConn. So that negates the power play. Wow. Uh, the UConn coach is not going to be happy about that. The power play is now negated because that was definitely a makeup call. That was definitely a makeup call because the UMass penalty never should have been one in the first place. So now the ref calls one against UConn. And we have back, uh, four on four hockey back to even strength here with under three minutes now remaining in the third. UMass with it in the offensive end. Back to the point. Able to keep it in the blue line. Now to the top of the circle. Shot there. Vomaka makes the save. UConn trying to clear it out now. they not able to get it past the four checking. Minuteman. Minuteman with a shot. And Vomaka makes another save. But the rebound is put in by UMass. And it's four to one. Four on four goals. Yeah, it was this it was the same ref THG that called both. And that is it. That is gonna ice this game as UMass takes a four to one lead. And that is game with under three minutes to go. And UMass with a three goal lead. Vomaka made the first save, but he couldn't cover it up fast enough. And the rebound gets put in by the UMass Minuteman Jones with the goal. And with 2.31 left in the third, that is just about going to do it for this one. So we're still four on four for another minute, 15 seconds here. 2.25 left in the third as UConn brings that one over the red line and now into the offensive end. UConn with it now. Looking to at least make the game somewhat closer. I mean, a goal at the end would at least be a bit of a confidence boost heading into the game tomorrow and make the final score a little bit closer as UConn not able to cleanly get that one into the front there. Here comes UMass up ice three on two. Will they extend the lead even more? Shot, and that one just goes wide near post. Kept in at the blue line, though, by the Minutemen. They have it now down on the half wall. Still in the offensive end. Back out to the point. Delgazzo with a long shot. That one gets blocked. Come, puck comes right back to him. He has it at the top of the circle. Back to the point. Now the top of the far circle. Now back to the point in the middle. Skating into the high slot to the far circle. Now back into the middle here. UMass just playing with the puck right here. Killing time. UMass, the number seven team in the country. Um, one of the best college hockey teams in the nation for the past few years. Starting off their season this year um, with a very, very good first game here. And a 4-1 to one lead over UConn. Uh, four on four is over and UMass scores again the shot from the point comes in and it's 5-1 Minutemen 
And UMass is just pouring it on at the end here as they take a 5-1 lead now with 109 left in the game. And UMass is putting a show on in the third period here, just extending their lead. And uh, UMass is a top 10 team in the country for a reason. They were a f uh, Final Four team a couple years ago. Um, and they are... Um, they look like they're going to be a powerhouse in college hockey again this year. Uh, the Lightning prospect, Logan, is on UConn. Chance for UConn here. Puck in the middle of the ice, right in the crease there. But Mari's able to keep it out. Hey, Steel, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. CL, welcome to the stream. Sharaf, welcome. Final 45 seconds of the third period here. Cleared up and out there by UMass. 5-1. UMass is poured it on here. Big end of this third period, and UConn has not been able to get any offense going really at all in this game. Taken away again. Bad pass by the Huskies. Breakaway chance. UMass just can't put it in. And now the net comes off, and we got some pushing and shoving after the whistle as two guys come together. Now three guys come together. Four, and everyone starts to pile in, but they start to separate here. They came piling into the net there with 21.9 seconds left. The game is over. UMass with a huge lead here with only seconds left. And UMass is showing why they're a top team in the country here as the defenseman pushed one of the UMass forwards into the post there and knocked the net off. Uh, probably not till 4K, Logan. Probably not till 4K because... I haven't, I mean, I've got a bunch. I've got a ton now, and I haven't really needed any new ones. Um, hey, Mike and Julie, thank you so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Great to have you guys on the stream, as always. Final seconds now, the third. UMass just killing the clock here. They dump it into the UConn end. UConn behind their own net now. Defenseman just holding the puck. They're going to just kill the clock here as the horn sounds, and that is it. This one comes to a close. It is the fi it is final. UMass 5, UConn 1. And uh, UMass gets a big win in their first game here. These two teams play again tomorrow night at UConn. Uh, unfortunately, that game is not televised. And I will not be doing, uh, obviously won't be calling the game if it's not on TV. I won't be live tomorrow. I've got some, uh, some plans tomorrow. But... Um, that's going to do it for tonight, guys. I apologize I did not get to do the uh, the game that I was planning on doing and said I was going to do. Uh, I was supposed to be doing UNH and Boston College today, but um, obvious, uh, obviously that, uh, that didn't happen because that game was postponed to a later date. So I don't know what happened there, but that game was postponed. Uh, so I wasn't able to do that, but we were able to catch the last two periods of this game, which uh, at, le at least we got a stream in at all. It's better than nothing. And uh, UMass gets a big win here in their first game. So um, with that, guys, I hope to be doing some more college hockey next weekend. Uh, I'm not sure of the exact schedule yet, but I should do at least one game next weekend. Um, maybe two, depending on what's going on, but hopefully at least one next week. And uh, I really, really appreciate all of you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being here. Please remember to subscribe if you have not yet and hit that thumbs up button as well. Both of those things help out the channel so, so much. And um, we're going to be doing college hockey until the NHL comes back. So be on the lookout for a lot of weekend college hockey streams over the next few weeks for me until we get, a, uh, until we get uh, an NHL return, which um, hopefully is coming in January. So... Um, appreciate it guys. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Have a great, uh, great day tomorrow as well. I'm going to go edit a video that, I, uh, right now that I'm going to drop tomorrow. Uh, really, really appreciate all of you guys for, for watching and I will definitely, uh, be, uh, talking to you guys soon. Have a great night guys and, uh, and peace out.